love to edit like a pro in Premiere Pro. Hey, my name is Tomo Stronik, I'm a filmmaker and photographer and today I want to share with you some of the editing techniques that I wish I knew when I started editing in Premiere and if you're wondering why I'm lying in a bed right now, more about it later, let's start with... Because I'm too much for the thrill of it, killing it every night in a million things I want Okay, so let's jump straight into the premiere. The first tip that I'm going to show you is gonna save you tons of time. Let's start with shortcuts. So, what I usually do when I start editing is scroll over the clip, find the in and out point of where I want to cut it. Let's say I like it here, where, where this goes up and she steps into the light. So what I would do is instead of coming here, choosing the razor, cutting, I would rather just press the, I would rather just press the B shortcut and I have the blade already and then I need to delete this one so instead of coming here and choosing the selection tool like this, I would just press the shortcut A, bam, delete, delete. And if you want to customize your shortcuts, you can come here under the Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts and you can set up your own shortcuts and I really really recommend you use them because they are gonna save you tons of time. Okay, let's jump to the next tip, which is how to copy the layer really, really fast. So instead of right clicking, copy and then command uh, V to paste, uh, I would just hold it with the Alt key and drag it up and that's it. Boom, saved and you have two same layers. Now, let's say I want to create a cool looking dreamy effect. So this is a quick tip how to make your edit a bit more interesting. It's very useful for editing music videos for example, so I would drag it above, to uh, move it forward for 2 to 3 frames, click on the above clip, change the, the opacity to 50 and press enter and we can already see how this line looks really really dreamy, we got a dreamy effect, if we go back, apply it again, back, again, you can obviously see the effect, it's subtle but it's there and it looks really really cool. Okay. Then the next, oh, before I tell you the next tip, so why am I lying in the bed right now? I'm in San Francisco right now, traveling for work. I'm traveling with Slovenian entrepreneur Filip Pesaj, creating video and photo content for him. And he's busy today, so I decided to do a tutorial for you. Hence, lying on a bed in hotel room. Two more tips and you're gonna like this ones. So let's choose this clip. It's a vertical one and what you want to and what you maybe want to do is fill it up on both sides. So you fill up the frame. So let's use the techniques that we just learned. Let's duplicate the layer and then what I would do is I would choose the bottom layer, scale it scale it up so it fills the frame and then it doesn't look good yet. So I come here and what I like to choose is a fast blur effect. You can double click to apply the, the effect or you can simply drag it up and then go under under the effect so we got two now because I dragged it and play with the intensity. I usually go around 30 and then if it's still not uh, good enough, it still doesn't pop, pop out, you can always come to the color and play with the exposure, darken it a bit and now you can see it's much much better and it's an interesting thing to see because it's not so common. But maybe you don't like this and you would just like to have a white background. So what I would do is come here under the file, new, color mat, color mat, okay, and choose the white color, enter, let's call it white, and boom, oh we got, already got one. I was practicing before this tutorial. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, like, Sometimes I have around uh, 10, uh, 10 attempts to film this. I'm, I'm, I'm still learning, but this is it. It's gonna be the same when you start with the Premiere Pro. You just need to practice and with every edit, you're going to be better. Same with every video, talking into the camera, I'm getting better as well. And this is just part of the game. You have to accept the process and continue to grow. Okay, uh, enough of this, let's jump back. So as you see, I now created a white background and looks really really nice 
Okay, quick recap, the first thing we learned were the shortcuts, then the second thing was how to duplicate the layer, just hold the Alt key, drag it up, then the third thing is how to be creative is to play with the opacity of the layers to create a dreamy effect. And then the tip number four was the one how, with how to fill the frame by scaling the bottom layer and apply a blur effect on it. And if you don't like this, simply apply some color uh, background with the effect called Color Mate and choose the color. This is it. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Hey, you just like